Group assets functionality in Oracle R12. We are running this demonstration on Apple's latest operating system L Capitan. So this is L Capitan. This is the presentation desktop and this is Windows 10 desktop where we will give the demonstration. To understand the concept, group assets gives you the ability to collectively depreciate some assets. Typically, the assets you introduced in Oracle assets will be depreciated individually. However, there are requirements in taxation laws to depreciate assets as per block of assets. Block of assets means several assets can be grouped together and the total cost of the assets will be depreciated and individual depreciation will not be maintained. To enable group assets, you need to enable group depreciation in an asset book. So you have to go to an asset book. Navigate to Asset System, Book Controls, Query Your Book. Go to Accounting Rules and ensure that Allowed Group Depreciation has been enabled. Also enable all the options below Allow Group Depreciation. The transaction flow of group assets. We have to first add a group asset. Then we have to add individual assets and then we have to assign the individual assets to the group and then we can do the depreciation. So let us first add a group asset. Go to asset workbench. Go to additions. Give an asset number. So this is a group asset we are adding. Let us call this asset as group 1. Give a category, select an asset key, select group as asset type and click on continue. Give a book, you will notice that the current cost cannot be entered for a group asset because a collective cost of the all individual assets will be stored here. Continue this. Give an expense account and give a location. Click on done. The group asset has been created. Now you can create individual assets. Let us say tower 1. Use a category. Asset key. Keep the asset type as capitalized now. Continue. Give a corporate book. Enter asset cost 100,000. Click on the group asset tab and select the group. Click on continue. Give an expense account and a location. Add one more asset. Let us say tower 2. Again the category. Keep this capitalized. Continue. So we created a group asset, we added one individual asset to the group, now we are adding second asset to the group, 200,000 as the cost. Again go to group tab, assign this asset to the group.
से कंटिन्यू गिव लोकेशन नॉलेट इज क्वेरी द ग्रुप ग्रुप वन दिस इज द ग्रुप वी क्रिएटेड गो टू बुक्स and you will notice that the current cost has been accumulated for all the individual assets within the group we added one asset for 100000 second asset for 200000 and now the group cost is 300000 let us see the individual assets tower 1 go to books this is the individual asset we have completed add group asset add individual asset we have assigned the assets now we will depreciate the assets go to depreciation run depreciation Select your book, close period, and say run. View the request, and allow the depreciation run to complete. Once the depreciation is completed successfully, we have completed the transaction flow. Now let us see the results. we will view the group asset costs and we will also see the individual cost now we get to assets workbench and query the group go to books you will see that the depreciation has been accumulated at the group level let us also see individual assets the individual asset vitality depreciation and accumulated depreciation is zero as the depreciation is being maintained at the group level it will not be maintained for the individual assets hope this video is helpful to you thank you bye bye